The story of plastids. This is a structure of plastid when viewed under a microscope. Types of plastids. Circular DNA, starch granule, lipid globule, stroma, chloroplast envelope, thylakoid, granum, lamella, intergranum, ribosomes are the things present in a normal plastid. Chloroplast. These are green colored plastids because of the presence of chlorophyll. They occur abundantly in green leaves and in green parts of shoot. They trap solar energy which is used for manufacturing food. So they are sites of photosynthesis. Stroma is present here therefore continuous membrane. This is a picture of leaves containing chloroplast. Leucoplast. These are colorless plastids. They store the food of plant body in the form of starch, protein and fat. They are mostly present in the storage cell as in the roots and underground steam. This is a picture of root containing leucoplast. Chromoplast. They are colored plastids. They provide colors to fruit and plants. So they help in pollination and food dispersion. This is this are a pictures of fruits and flowers which contain chloroplast. Development of plastids. It reflects the differentiation of plant tissues. In meristem proplastids dominate and they develop into different types of plastids. Depending on the type of tissue a meristem cell is differentiated into. In roots they develop into amyloplast or chloroplast. In shoots, it develops into chloroplast, ethyloplast depending on light. An important concept of plastid development in their interconversation, both nuclear and proplastid genome are required for chloroplast development. How do they divide? They are thought to evolve from a bacterium and they indeed divide like one. The division appear to be a simple fusion starting with a constriction, deep cleavage, break apart. Recent studies thus suggest that FTSZ like molecules are required for division of chloroplasts. Cell division and expansion, environmental cues control the division of plastids. Chemical composition. Chloroplast limiting membrane contain normal lipid protein composition, but the granule membranes including both thylakoid and integranal membrane possess 20 to 30 percent of lipids and sulfoids, phytosterols and xylokipids and pigments. Plant pigments are basically simple lipids containing many insoferoid units. Association with other compounds bring about variation in them. Different kinds of pigments can be identified by absorption spectrum.